Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple C program to check whether the alphabet entered by the user is a vowel or a consonant. In English alphabet, the alphabets A, E, I, O, U, both uppercase and lowercase, are called as vowel, and the other alphabets are called as the consonant. Now here, what we do is we will ask the user to enter an alphabet. Then we will check whether it is oval or consonant, and then we will display the appropriate message. So the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we need, and uh, since the user is going to enter the alphabet, we're going to need a variable for storing that alphabet. So I'm going to take the character type, and I'm going to call it as ch. Now after that, the alphabet that the user is going to enter can be an uppercase alphabet. Or it can be a lowercase alphabet. So in this program, we have to check in uppercase and also in lowercase. So what we do is we will perform the test separately for uppercase and lowercase, and we will store the result of those two uh, checks in two separate variables, and then we will compare the values of those two test, and uh, we will display a result. So here I'm going to take integer data type, and I'm going to create two variables. So I'm going to call these variables as uppercase and lowercase. Okay. Now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the alphabet. So I'm going to use the printf function, and I'm going to say enter an alphabet. Okay. Now here uh, we assume that the user is going to enter the alphabet, so user has to enter an alphabet. Okay. Now we will read the alphabet entered by the user using the scanf function, and uh, we will use the percentage c format specifier, and we will store that in this ch variable. Now we need to check whether the user has entered vowel or consonant. So here the user can enter an uppercase alphabet or the lowercase alphabet. So first we will check whether the user has entered a uppercase vowel. So we will check whether the ch variable is containing a value which is uppercase a. If it is so, then it means that the user has entered the oval in uppercase. So we need to check for the other alphabets like e, i, o, u in uppercase. So we will perform that, and we will use the or operator. So whether ch variable is containing the uppercase a or ch variable is containing the uppercase e or ch variable is containing uppercase i or ch is containing uppercase o or ch is containing uppercase u if the user has entered any of this alphabet then this or operator will return 1 in c programming language zero is considered as false and any non zero value is considered as true so if the ch variable is containing any of these alphabets then this uh, or operator will return 1 and uh, uh, otherwise it will return 0 so we will store the output of this operation in this uppercase variable okay now here we have checked for the vowels in uppercase similarly we have to do in the lowercase so i'm going to copy this statement and i'm going to paste it here and we will change this one to lowercase and here we will change the alphabets to lowercase alphabets so whether it is a e i o or u okay now by looking at the value present in this uppercase and lowercase variables we can say whether the user has entered a vowel or a consonant so here we will use the if conditional statement and the condition will be if any of this uppercase or the lowercase variable is containing a value true or equivalent to true in this case it will be 1 then it means that user has entered a vowel so we will check if uppercase or lowercase if uppercase or the lowercase variable is containing a value 
true or equivalent to true then we will say that the uh, alphabet that has been entered by the user is a vowel so we will say percentage c is a vowel and we will display the value present in the ch variable okay else it means that the alphabet entered by the user is a consonant so we will display that message to the screen so i'm going to say consonant okay and before running this program you know let me take a look at the code okay here i have made a very simple mistake and that is with this kind of function i forgot to add this ampersand symbol to get the address of the ch variable so we have to do that and after making the correction i'm gonna run this code i'm gonna enter capital a it says capital a is oval okay we will run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter lowercase um u it says it is a vowel and uh, we will run it one more time i'm gonna enter capital e or you know we can enter let's say i'm gonna enter capital t it says t is consonant run it one more time and this time i'm gonna enter lowercase y it says uh, lowercase y is a consonant so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box the source code will be available in my website check out the description box thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video